here is an explanation for the answer to final exam question number 13 in Alternative Energy Demystified, second edition. If you have the printed book, please see page 312. We're talking about an electrical transmission line here that runs for a long distance. It carries 400,000 volts and it has 100 ohms of resistance over its entire span. At the end of the line, all of the users taken together demand 4 million watts of power. That's 4 megawatts of power. This is at some particular arbitrary moment in time. Of course, it will vary from moment to moment, but at the moment we're talking about 4 million watts. That's not a lot for a 400,000 volt transmission line. 4 megawatts is not a whole lot of power, but that's what we're talking about in this situation. How much power does this transmission line actually waste as heat because of its resistance, because of this fact that it doesn't conduct perfectly, it has 100 ohms of resistance. Well, in order to figure that out, we need to know the current in this transmission line. And in order to do that, we can go back to page 186. You'll find the formula power equals voltage times current. Power in watts equals voltage in vol volts times current in amperes. So we can rearrange that formula to say the current in amperes is equal to the power in watts divided by the voltage in volts. Well, we know the power in watts. That's 4 million watts. We know the voltage in volts, 400,000. It's easy enough in our heads to divide 4 million by 400,000 to come up with the notion that the current that we're going to be dealing with here is 10 amperes. This uh, particular transmission line is carrying 10 amperes of current. That's an awful low current for a 400,000 volt line, but of course this is a rather bizarre example. Maybe it's uh, maybe it's a holiday or something, and everybody's out on going on a picnic, and nobody's using any electricity to speak of. Ten amperes. All right, now, so this line carries ten amperes of current, and it has 100 ohms of resistance. Then we can use this formula to figure out the power loss. We square the current and multiply by the resistance. Well, it again, we can do this in our head. The current is 10 amps squared is 100. 100 amperes squared times 100 ohms equals 10,000. 10,000 watts of power is being wasted in this transmission line in the form, presumably, of heat. Now there's going to be some more power wasted as well because this transmission line is going to set up a magnetic field around itself, a fluctuating magnetic field. And that fluctuating magnetic field, also known as ELF radiation, you may have heard of that. They make it sound pretty scary, but it's around us all the time in the form of 60 hertz AC magnetic fields from the utility lines or 50 Hertz in some parts of the world extremely low frequency ELF and it's not really radiation as such it is more like an electromagnetic field at extremely low frequency anyway this power line is going to set that up around itself and there's going to be some counter fields set up in the earth around it obstructions anywhere near it and those fields are going to interact with the field from the line itself and increase this loss. So, in fact, we're going to see a little more than 10,000 watts of power lost between the station, the transmitting station, and the end users. But as a result of 100 ohms of resistance, we lose 10,000 watts of power in this transmission line. And that is choice C.